My lab is interested in how cells become organized into tissues and organs. And one of the areas that we've been really focusing on is understanding how, how do you tell a cell which way to divide. And we know from the work that we and others have done in Drosophila, the fruit fly, that uh, the planar cell polarity pathway, this um, organization pathway, helps t cells know whether they divide in this direction or this direction. And if you consistently divide in this direction or this direction, you end up getting an elongated fly wing, for example, versus a rounded fly wing. So we went ahead and mutated some of these same genes in the mouse to see if this pathway was conserved. And we saw that, in fact, it was tissue shape was disrupted and therefore tissues and organs were no longer functioning. And one of the particular um, organs that we were most interested in was the kidney because it's been known for a while that one of the big problems for people is when they get something called cystic kidney disease, when basically the tubules become wider. And what we discovered was that um, in human populations, they also have defects when they mutate this gene that we've been most focusing on, which are called FAT4 coherence that they also have problems in, in kidney development. And so if we think about how we now can go forward and help maybe understand better human disease, we can go back to our studies first in the fruit fly and then in the mouse and find other elements of this pathway as we better understand how it works. And then we can go to the clinicians and give them lists of genes that, and pathways that they can examine and see if, for in fact, if this patient who has this disease, is it actually due to maybe not the fat coherent, but another component of the pathway that we found in flies and in mice.